Hello, it's Alex here. Now, I know this channel is normally about business stuff. Um, however, look, I'm running my Xbox on my Mac. So I thought it was really cool, I thought I'd share it with you. I know it's probably not relevant to a lot of you, you probably haven't got an Xbox or you probably haven't got a Mac. Um, but for those of you who have got both of those things, uh, let me just show you exactly how it works. So I'm not using, um, you know, Windows running on a Mac or anything like that. This is within Mac OS. You can even have it in a window. I've got a controller hooked up. Um, here we go. And it's hooked up via, let's see if I can get you, you can see that me moving around, yep. Sort of. A bit like that. Yeah, that just connects over Bluetooth. You just simply press the sync button and then find it in your Bluetooth on your Mac. And all you need is a little bit of software. So let me just jump on the computer and I'll show you exactly what it is. The software is called OneCast. You'll find a link to it in the description. And let me just spend 30 seconds and I'll just show you what it looks like on the screen. So here we go, I'm over on my Mac. Now I'm running it on a MacBook uh, Pro. You can run it on older Macs. I've got an iMac as well, which I've tried it on. It doesn't run quite as well on there. Um, but you do have these options here where you can adjust the video quality so you can get it going um, a bit better if you've got an older Mac. It's really easy to set up. Uh, as I said, the software is called OneCast. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. Very easy to set up. Make sure the Xbox and the Mac are on the same network, Wi-Fi or wired, whatever. Uh, you go for a little wizard and it'll find your Xbox. Then you just have to log in with your Microsoft account and then you're pretty much done. As I said, um, I've connected a uh, controller just via Bluetooth. So just press the sync button on your controller, then come up here and it will appear and then you can connect it and it works, that's it. <laughs> uh, and then when you've done all that, you just simply press the connect button and there you go, you're in. Goes full screen, but you can drop it down into a window as well if you like. So you can have a sneaky game up in the corner while you're doing some work. I found it works really well. Um, the games load up fine, the graphics are good. There's no lag or anything like that. Um, you just launch your game. And it all, yeah, it all looks good. You get the sound coming through. And yeah, it's perfect. Now I'm running this on a MacBook Pro um, and it runs fine with the video level set to high um, because you can adjust the video quality. I've also got an older iMac and it doesn't work quite so well on there. But if I knock the uh, video quality down to say medium or something like that, then it is fine. So I hope you found that useful. So that's the end of this video, it was just a quick one. Just wanted to share that with you. As I say, it's probably not relevant to all of you, so I do apologize. If you're new to the channel though, maybe you found this video because you were searching for a way to play uh, Xbox on your Mac. Welcome, uh, why not subscribe? Click that and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Generally, they're not about Xboxes. They're about other stuff, but you might enjoy them. In fact, here is another video that's chosen specially for you. See if you like it. And there is another channel somewhere up there, Little Eagle. Give it a click, that's my main channel. Till next time, bye for now.